Do you feel that White Snake is very much a cover, um, a sort of um, a vehicle for David Coverdale? I'm not knocking him in any way, but there's a lot of stuff in the music business that says basically this is David Coverdale and band. I mean, how do you feel about that? Uh, well, I didn't. Well, I know that David had, had shared it down in front. So, um, how can you say uh, when David Coverdale and, and band when you've got say? Uh, well, any of the musicians you put, I mean, like Cozy, mm. uh, Lord, I mean, you can, there's no way that you could say that, because the degree of musicianship in the band is, is, uh, is incredible. Right. OK, we'll, we'll turn to Neil now. Neil, can you just sort of briefly give us your outline of your musical history over the last few years? Well, about ten years ago, I happened to get the chance to play with Cozy and his band at that time, Hammer. That was Hammer, right. Yeah, and just for a few weeks, and that led me to this basically through one way or another because Bernie Marsden was in that band and various other contacts and after that I was with Gary Moore and John Heisman in Coliseum 2 for a couple of years then a very obscure group with Dave Stewart called National Health you know mm, it's, my, it's my party Dave Stewart right. and then I joined Whitesnake at the beginning and was in it for about four years left in 82 to play with Gary Moore along with Ian Pace and then came back at the end of last year. Why did you leave Whitesnake originally? What went wrong? Well, I wouldn't say anything particularly went wrong. It was just maybe a time to try something new. Um, people were a bit undecided as to what the lineup of the band was going to be, and I got a sort of stronger offer, as it were, from Gary. And because Ian had left at the same time, I thought it would be a very stable thing to, for the whole rhythm section to move over and do that. What sort of difference is it between playing, say, with Gary Moore and playing in the White Snake Band? Well, in a way, it answers your question because Gary's situation is a lot more um, a one-man scene than White Snake is. Mm. You know, believe it or not. I mean, David obviously gets much more attention, and he does have a lot of say in the the running of the band and the direction of the music. But it's still very democratic. Besides that, whereas Gary's band is almost a, a solo project, really. He does have good mates and good musicians playing with him, but it's not quite the same thing. It's not so much of a band as why it's making. Was this latest album slide it in a struggle to make? <laughs> it wasn't, wasn't a struggle to make. The struggle was that halfway through it, after we recorded the tracks, uh, the initial um, guy that we got producing it, um, we fell out with and uh, got rid of halfway through. So uh, that was the thing that took all the time because I think got rid of him he put the album back six months because um, it was like you know we couldn't go into mixing and we'd already got dates booked in Europe and so uh, we had to go through with those dates mm. so we couldn't finish off the album until we'd finished the European dates then which took it basically up to uh, just before Christmas are, are you asked to write material or do you just come up with it and say here it is um Obviously, that was one of the first. That was one of the reasons that David got me in the band in the first place. I think, re besides anything else, was um, which is also the answer to like the thing that, about being a one man. Um, David needs he needs that level of musicianship, or from you know from the the band, mm. and uh, so it was just like naturally that we fell into writing together. How do you feel about playing at the Queen's Hall here in Leeds? Um, it's a bit cold. I mean, it, it's a pity that there isn't a better venue in Leeds for the kids to come to, but if, if that's what they're used to, I suppose they don't mind that it's not a bit more posh. OK, well, Neil Murray and uh, Mel Galley, thanks very much for talking to me. Thanks. Thanks a lot.